guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. I have an exciting video for you guys today. It's this massive bag. This is actually one of three. I've got a massive Sandro haul. I have been doing some great shopping while I'm here in Munich. And obviously shopping in Europe is unparalleled to anywhere in Canada. So one of my new favorite brands is Sandro and the stores in Canada for Sandro in Vancouver anyways, there's like a little corner in a department store with like, I swear to God, like six items. And the salespeople there are also like rude and I don't like going in there. And I think it's at, um, I want to say that it's at the Bay. So if anyone from the Bay Vancouver is watching this, you need better customer service. Anyways, um, so I've been checking out Sandra Boutiques all over Spain, Milan, now Munich, and I have quite a assortment of things to show you guys today. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul and also a try on so you can see how the clothes look because I know people love try on hauls. It's gonna be super, super fun. As you guys know, I love fashion. And if you're here for it, please like this video so I know to create more content like this. And if you really like the video, then subscribe and I would love to have you back on my channel. So without further ado, let's get to the haul. Well, first item, I'm actually wearing it. It's this beautiful blouse. I will insert a cutaway so you can see it more clearly, but it has these beautiful like ruffled sleeves and then it has this kind of like peplum waist. It does make my waist look like it comes kind of like more up here and a belt would kind of like throw off that balance. So I just kept it without a belt for now, but this is semi sheer. I've just done like a black lace bra underneath, but if you are wearing this to the office or out during the day, I'd probably do just like a little black or nude cami underneath just to keep it nice and like a little bit less sexy maybe, but I was just like, ah, fuck it, whatever, this is cute. So that's the first item. Next the item is a super cute, like rocker kind of tee. I love just during the day throwing on like a cute rocker t-shirt and like tucking it into some skinny jeans and like topping it with a jacket. And this says a kiss is worth a thousand words, a love story. It's like a poster type vibe and I'm just into it. I think it's so cute. Next, I have these beautiful black dress pants. They do have a satin waist, so they could easily convert into like a nice dinner pant, or even if you wanna be like a little more fancy for your office or whatever, uh, super, super cute. I actually paired these with that rocker tee I just showed you, and it looks really cute, just to make it a little bit more casual. So one of the big fashion trends in Germany I've noticed across every store is shorts in the winter. Like, I don't know what's going on. Normally I don't buy shorts in the winter, but literally every store has shorts. I think the lady in Sandra was like, oh yeah, like every girl in Germany is like, right now it's like oversized blazers, shorts, and tights is like the outfit. So I was like, okay, I guess I better get some shorts. <laughs> so I got these. I love just like the trim. It's like a, it's like a plush velvet. It's just so pretty. So I got these, they're high-waisted and they're actually not too short. One thing I always struggle with is like, I hate when shorts look too short when you're walking around the city or during the day. I don't like to have a super sexy short, but I also don't want them to be too long. Yeah, I thought these were so, so, so cute. And then I also got a matching jacket. Okay, one of my favorite items actually that I hauled from Sandro, um, this is probably a couple months ago now, but I had to include it. It's this just cute little pullover. They have really, really soft plush pullovers and I love a good pullover. Like if it's not too cold out or you just want to run out, just want to be cozy. And the material is so nice and soft and thick and it's like, just feels very luxurious. And for the price, it actually wasn't too bad. And I just honestly love this. I love how it's vintage 1984 and just so cute. So definitely one of my favorites. Okay, next item, they also had this in white. I've just recently saw this in Sandro in Munich, so they still have this, and it's so beautiful. Like, this was beautiful for me in Mallorca with like a pair of shorts. This will go well into fall with like a nice skinny jean or even a skirt, top it with a nice jacket. This would look really cute as well under like a leather jacket, something like that. Um, and I love the button detail. It just looks very kind of luxurious, a little bit expensive. And this material I don't always love, this kind of like, stretchy material but i don't find it to be too tight at all it's super comfortable and i love this top so next i actually got four jackets from sandro i got three at once and then i got one about a month ago too but they still have this in stores this is from their like going out of summer in between start of fall um collection i love this i think it was like it kind of reminded me of like chanel-esque vibes and i do also like how the buttons are kind of unique they have that white detailing and it's just a nice light jacket for like a sunny day and it's just so beautiful and i really love the color i really do love green on me and i think it's super cute next i actually wasn't expecting to buy this jacket the sales lady brought it to me and i was kind of like 
hmm, you know what I mean? And she did say that everything right now is all about the oversized blazer and I love a good blazer. Just look at these lapels. Like that's like boss ass bitch right there. Like check that out. The satin is perfect for dinner, but it's oversized enough that it, you could make it casual with like a skinny pant, skinny jean, um, or even shorts and tights and just wear it out. And I also do love the button detail. These just look so cool with like the crests and just super unique, not your average. And I just love this jacket so much. And it comes, you'll see in the cutaway, it does come kind of toward the waist and then black buttons on the side there. I'm not a big silver fan, but I love anything with gold. So I had to, it's actually the first jacket that caught my eye. I like how it is a little bit heavier so you can wear it on a little bit of a cold day. Like, I mean, it's still a blazer, but it's a bit thicker for your average blazer. This beautiful like velvety detailing on the edges there is just so extra. It kind of reminds me of like, a women's smoking jacket you know what i mean it's just like you go outside and you like put on some slippers and you like smoke a cigar and call it a day and also not too formal looking this one is a little bit more like approachable black dinner jacket or whatever jacket and i just thought it was so cool and again black and gold my fave okay so the last jacket that i have i actually this also gave me chanel vibes i think this is the most awesome jacket they brought this to me as well and i was like at first I wasn't in love with the material because it's kind of like, um, it's not like a tweed material. It's kind of like one of those materials that just never wrinkles and it's kind of poofy. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if it looks cheap, but then I put on the jacket and it's actually like so comfortable and it just looks so cute. It's really cropped. So with a high waist skinny jean, it's perfect. And then the shoulders have this little poofed accent. So it just looks super classy. Pair of big sunglasses, put on some cute shoes, head out on your day, or it's the perfect just nighttime jacket as well. I've already worn it multiple times. I just, it's the first thing I think of and I'm so happy with this. And I love also that for one of the Chanel-esque looking styles, I feel like these jackets can easily look like they're for old women like so fast. And it's actually really hard for me to find one that I like. And this is the first one I've actually bought, even though I've liked the style for years. So there we go, love it. Okay, next is an item that I picked up in, I wanna say Milan. I was looking for some like dinner dresses and I honestly wasn't even gonna buy this at first. Like I saw it on the rack and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I just like decided I hated it. And then the girl was like, no, you have to try it. Cute little black dress with like the lace detail there. And I wasn't even gonna buy it at first. I was kind of just like, no, I don't know. But then the girl, the sales lady, the way she got me, she was like, you're a good girl, but you're not. You're also sexy. And I was like, fuck, I think I need that dress. So I picked this up. It's nice and like form fitting, but not too much as you'll see in the cutout. And I just think it's super cute. It has a zipper on the back that goes down nice and low. And it's not too short either. If I'm going out, I don't really feel comfortable. My dress is super, super, super short and I have to like watch what my legs are doing all night. So I love that this comes like, just to the knee and it's perfect. Another dress here. Um, this I honestly didn't even love on the hanger. It was kind of like whatever, but it has this ruched detail. So it's kind of fitted throughout in the skirt and then flares out a little bit. And the girl brought it to me as well. I'm just like so susceptible, I guess, to people helping me. And it is actually really cute. It could be done casual as well with like sneakers or you could totally dress it up. And I do like that these snaps here are really heavy duty because for someone like myself, I do have a larger chest. When I see dresses with just a single button and it's like a really, really cheap snap, 99% of the time, those things just pop off because of my boobs and then I'm stuck and I have to like safety pin it or just never wear the dress again. And so I'm really happy that they they put in like the proper snaps there just to give you that kind of security. <laughs> Okay, next is one of my favorite items of the whole haul. This beautiful dress, sorry that it's a little bit wrinkly in the light. This is stunning, I wore this in Monaco and I just felt like a princess and I think that it is so, so, so cute. Sorry for the wrinkle. It's pretty low cut, but like not too, too low cut, but it's still like sexy low cut, if that makes sense. And then it just has a zip up detail in the back and it honestly is nice and heavy satin and it's just so luxurious and gorgeous. Definitely an LBD to have in your closet for like years and years and years. It's also a perfect dress for dinner because I've, obviously the ruffles are very flattering so you don't have to worry about bloating if you wear this out because no one's gonna know, sis. Eat all the bread you want, don't even worry about it. Okay, next I have this really cool skirt. I actually didn't pick this out either, but 
It's actually really cool. So the high-low skirts I was seeing on a lot of the runways are coming back in for fall and then spring, summer 2021. Once I put this on, I was like, okay, I kind of like it. Basically it has shorts underneath and then it kind of cinches in here. So when you do wear it, it just looks like a skirt that just is high-low, but then the shorts give you that security. And it's honestly so beautiful. One thing with this skirt, I have had difficulty matching because it's just so loud with the shape that I'm always like, oh, do I wear a long sleeve? Do I wear a short sleeve? Do I wear a crop top? It's just been a little bit hard for me to match with, even though it's a black skirt, but I'm just waiting for like that perfect top to put with it. I have to figure it out because I need to do a cutaway trying something on with this. So guess when I put that there, you'll know what I figured out. So next, this is one of my favorite items as well. I love beautiful Baroque looking blouses like this. And this is just stunning. It has these sleeves that are nice and tailored. I don't like when blouses that are flowy also have flowy sleeves. I always like when they're cinched in because then it gives you a better shape. It's not like too boho, you know what I mean? So this does have a type of look where you could do it all the way to the top. And then it has the pussy bow. Or sometimes, usually what I would do is I just literally keep it unbuttoned and then just do a little loose bow. And I just think this is so beautiful. This is honestly, it matches with everything, everything. And it's such a statement blouse and it's just the most stunning pattern. And they do still have this in the boutique as well. So highly recommend you check it out. And also something about this material, it does not wrinkle. I've been traveling with this blouse and it has not wrinkled on me like at all. And also if it does a little, like the pattern will distract. But this specific is so good for traveling with because it does not wrinkle, even though most people aren't really traveling. But if you're doing a weekend trip, whatever, you get my flow. Okay, last but certainly not least, another one of my favorite items from this haul. I actually just love it all. I love it all. I think it's just all fabulous and stunning. This is like the grandpa 80s cardigan of dreams. Like this is like, I'm your rich evil stepmother and I'm here to fuck up your life and I'm gonna look fabulous doing it. Like that's what this reminds me of. Like it's just so, it's just so fucking cool. Like it's just awesome. Like this, I envision this with like a pair of like thigh high latex looking boots, a bright red lip and just like hair however the hell you want because no one's gonna be really looking at your hair if you're wearing that outfit. I just think this is so boss and it's just long enough to wear as a dress depending how tall you are but I mean not necessarily during the day. I just think this is amazing. It's super heavy though like my arm is hurting right now um, but it's just awesome. It's hard for me to get with the houndstooth print because I feel like a lot of the houndstooth stuff I see it's either a too big of a pattern or the material I just don't like. It's too much of like a knit sweater. It looks like an old lady. This is very modern. I think this is a very good take on a houndstooth cardigan and again I love the black and gold and the buttons are like lions like boss. I love it so much. Okay, you guys, I need to go put all these crazy clothes away and I really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and leave a comment what your favorite outfits were. Please subscribe as well if you really enjoyed the video. I would love to have you back on my channel. I'll link more fashion videos below as well and I hope you're having a great day. Oh my God, literally this whole haul is like black. I just realized that. Happy fall channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created oh, there. I love black and gold as you guys might know. Not a big, oops, what just fell? Something from the hanger just fell, Ugh, whatever. Next item I got is, oh fuck. Sorry about this ghetto ass hanger. Actually, no, I can't have this in the hall. I need to change that right now. God, we need to have some standards here. Uh -huh.